Hello, friends. Now let's try to solve the Russian doll envelopes problem. The statement is: You have a number of envelopes with width and height given as a pair of integers w and h. One envelope can fit into another if and only if both the width and height height of one envelope is greater than the width and height of the other envelope. What is the maximum number of envelopes can you rush a doll? Put one inside other. Let's see two examples. The first example is very simple. You see these uh, five envelopes. So, what uh, the number of the maximum envelopes can we put in? Well, you see, if we put if we choose the first envelope, then we cannot pick any envelopes because the height of the first envelope is very large, so we do not pick that one. And then we pick the second one, which is fifteen and fifty-three. And then we can keep uh, pick the fifty-two and sixty-eight. And then we cannot pick the seventy <coughs> seventy-two and forty-five because it's less than the previous height. And then we can choose the last envelope, so it's three. So you have an intuition that if we are given envelopes, we should sort them at first. Obviously, we should sort them by their width ascendingly, which means uh, from the smaller element to the greater element. How about the height, the second element? Um. Well. You see, if you, uh, let's say example, if you sort the, um, assembly, two. You will see that it will be hard to check. You should, uh, for uh, for this two right, you you know it cannot fit the, fit in the previous one, and uh, if you, uh, go to the twelve fifteen, you need to. You need to compare the thirty fifteen, so so you need to track that. Uh, it's not the previous one, so it may be more complicated. So the more intuitive way is to sort by the height descendingly. So in this case, you because this width is guaranteed to <coughs> to be increasing, so you just need to compare the height, check if they are increasing. So the problem is changed to find the longest increasing subsequence in a two D array. As I said, the first step is to sort this two D array, and then we need to use a DP array. Why? Because the we uh the width is guaranteed, so we just need to compare the height. We use binary search. Uh, if you are familiar with the longest increasing subsequence problem, we can use a binary search for each height. We search in the DP array, see if it already exists in the DP array. If the place we have to insert the height is equal to the length, which means we should insert it at the Last right, so in this case, we our longest increasing sub sequence in increment by one. So that's basically the idea. Let's see the example. First, the length equal to zero, and the, we start from zero to zero. So the place we need to uh, insert this four is zero. So the index equal to the length at the beginning is zero. So the length increment by one. And then we search from zero to one. Uh, for this fifteen, we not find, and uh, the place we need to insert the fifteen is one. So DP one equal to fifteen, and index equal to the length e one. So we increment length by one. That's equal to two, and then we search for the two. And the two not e not exists in the DP array, but the place we need to insert this two is zero. So we update the DP zero to the two, but the length keeps the same, 
and then we need to find the fifty. And the fifty is obvious need to be insert at the last. So the DP two will equal to the fifty, and the length should increment by one. So in this case, it's three. So we can uh, Russian doll at three most. Okay, so it's the same for this example. Okay, so let's do it. So if the envelopes equal to n, or the envelopes dot length equal to zero, we just return zero. If not the case, we get the n, which is the total number of the envelopes, the length, and we knew a array, dp array. Okay, that should be n. And uh, we also need the length at the beginning to, to zero. And then we sort these envelopes. Envelopes. So how to solve that? We use two element A, B. Okay, if A zero equal to B zero, and I say we need to solve them descendingly. So D, uh, B one minus A one. If not the case, we just use a zero minus b zero, which is ascendingly b zero. Okay, and then for every envelope, envelopes, right? We try to do the binary search, arrays binary search in the DP starting at zero, ending that's in the length for this e one, which is the height. So if uh, the index is less than zero, which means it doesn't exist in the DP, uh, the scope of the DP array. Uh, the position we need to insert uh, the element is uh, should uh, equal to the minus uh, index and minus one. So if we want to get the correct index, it should be the position plus one and get its negative number. Uh, value. So in this case, we update the index to the 12. Oh, sorry. Uh, negative and index plus 1. Okay. So then we update the DP index into the E1, which is the height. And if the index equal to the length, which means we should append that at the end. So we should update the, uh, update the uh, let's increase by one. Finally, we just return this length. Okay. Uh, okay. Thank you for watching. See you next time.